Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we received a package from Orsay, France. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, it's a Z camera from Stereo Labs. There's a thank you card. Stickers. We like stickers. Here are this. Oh, a nice little box and some bubbles. Vision for machines. These look like instructions. Oh, a USB stick. Tripod stand. Ooh, it's kind of cute. And the camera. And the cable for the camera. USB 3. Cool. Ooh, got scratched up a little bit here. Oh well. Little tripod. So it looks like there's a place that we can actually mount it. That'll be nice. Let's plug it into the Jetson and see what we have. Okay, let's try this out on a Jetson TK1 first. We go to the Stereo Labs website, Developers, Downloads. Scroll down a little bit. ZSDK for Jetson TK1. We'll do that. It starts downloading. Next, we go to the tutorials. Getting started with Jetson TK1 and the Z. This tells us how to flash the Jetson TK1 with Jetpack. We've already done that. CUDA 6.5. We've enabled USB 3.0 already. Okay, so we're going to go to the downloads folder. CH mod plus X. dot slash Z underscore SDK underscore JTK one underscore B zero dot nine point two. Okay. Hmm, a license. Yes, I like that. Okay, the little colon comes up. I'll hit Q. Ah, oh, got out of it. Good. To continue, you have to accept the EULA. Accept? Yes. Do you want to auto install dependencies? Recommend it. Yes. Install samples. Recommend it. Yes. 
Okay, character turn. Okay, looks like it modified some startup scripts. So why don't we restart the Jetson? So let's go to slash user slash local slash Z. Samples. Z. Let's go tools first. The Z Explorer. That sounds like fun. Oh, there I am. Hello, me. Got a little case of the shakes there. There we go. Well, that's rather discouraging. Let's try the depth viewer. Ah, oh, that's better. Oh, okay, good. So it looks like we're getting about eight frames per second on this. This so the way that the Z works is you have two different cameras, a left and a right. So a left and a right here. And then through the use of trigonometry, you figure out what the distance is to each particular pixel. And that's what this bottom figure represents. Confidence, disparity, depth. Well, you get the little left and you get the right. 3D version. And an overlay. Okay, and then you get this, which is the 3D scene. Okay, let's do our Jetson TX1 install. So I've hooked the Z up to the TX1 through a USB 3.0 hub. We go to the Stereo Labs website again. Downloads. Z SDK for Jetson TX1. the downloads folder change the permissions Oop. this X Z this DK okay dot slash Z underscore SDK or run that baby. Mm, the license comes up. Colon. I'll hit Q again. Oh, I'm out. Accept the EULA. Yes. Password. You want to auto install dependencies. Yes. I'm agreeable today. Install samples. Recommend it. Yes. Installation path. Okay. Let's go take a look. Go over to slash user slash local slash Z. Oh, 
Explore. Oh, this is much faster. Let's see. 2568 by 720. It's pretty much frozen. It seems to work pretty good at 1080. It has issues. At 720, apparently. Let's take a look at the depth viewer. So that appears to work okay. So we get 17, 18 frames per second, so that's about as twice as fast as the TK one. Same confidence disparity, depth. Side by side, overlay, difference. 